All right, you know, um, Kuykendall's Border Collies have been training collies for decades. Now, whether it's just for a really obedient pet or to control those pesky Canada geese or even herding dogs, they can do it all. But a recent development may top the list for what they can do now. Their dogs are actually protecting missile sites. What happens is, is the, the USDA has gotten border collies from us to keep the Nene goose, is it the goose in Hawaii, um, off of the runways for planes um, at, the, at the most recent one is the, the missile base. Um, so just keeping all the airways safe for planes to take off. It's basically the same type of training, um, just a little bit more particular on um, the stopping commands and just making sure that every dog is on point because it is such a critical area. So even though the training is a little bit similar to what you're seeing here, there are still some differences like getting the dog used to those different sights and sounds that they'll experience out there. We do our own noises at the farm. Um, I live in the city here in Greensboro, um, so the traffic noise behind me. Um, we take them to close to airports so they can experience, you know, that noise. <laughs> it's interesting. So similar training to what they do. So they take their dogs out and they will, if someone calls and says, we've got all these Canada geese everywhere and we mm -hmm. can't get rid of them, the dogs actually will herd them away. Okay. So it's safe. They're not injuring anybody. Right. Or anybody. Same principle with the USDA and it's a, a military base in Hawaii that's a missile site and they have to, they rely on those planes coming in and there's a type of goose there, literally called a nene goose, <laughs> and they keep them clear of the runways constantly all day long so that those planes can take off and land because those are military operations. I'm just that am crazy? amazed at the things that you can do to train dogs, you know, their emotional support, they help people with disabilities, you know, they help with crime scene investigations. I think it would be so cool to sit in on one of these classes the just to sessions? see. Yeah, the yes. training just to see the methods that are used. I recently did a story, it was a few years ago, with McNeely Pest Control. Mm -hmm. They had dogs that were trained to sniff out bed bugs. And so they showed oh, me how, like, wow. they gave me an example. They had bed bugs, like, in a little vial and hit it around this fake house, and the dogs were able to quickly That's sniff amazing. them out. That is awesome. And I remember a few years ago, I think that it might have been. Um, Jared from Subway, if you remember, he yeah, got into yeah. a lot of trouble yeah. for like child porn or something. Yep. They used dogs that were that were trained to sniff out electronics and they found hard drives hidden in his walls wow. at his house oh because they were trained to sniff out uh -huh. electronics. In addition to sniffing out certain scents, you know, when it comes to crime scenes and things of that nature, I'm interested in the medical aspect, how they can be trained to sense, like say if you're diabetic, if your yes. sugars are gonna drop, or if you struggle with epilepsy, if like you're right. about to have a seizure, how they're able to do I that. I don't get that part. No. I, it's I very interesting to me. Because that way they could actually warn someone you, are, you could possibly be having either a heart event or uh -huh. an epilepsy epileptic seizure before or just as it's starting. I mean, that's mm -hmm. life saving. It's almost like how do trainers or doctors or scientists yeah. know that dogs have the ability to do that? I'm sure several tests are run on this, but it's just fascinating to me. Well, and Border Collies are some of the smartest dogs there yeah. are. So that, because I did ask her about that and she goes, yeah, that's why we use Border Collies. Australian Shepherds, Border Collies are some of the smartest so they can do anything. So now they're employed by the government. <laughs> that's wild. With great benefits and pensions. It's, it's interesting too that, I mean, how much training can do or not do. So. Think about the dogs that like can't even be trained to like sit. <laughs> right, and then you've got dogs trained to do what they do. What the story yeah. that you were just talking about. I was just thinking like if you were to sit in on one of these courses, what you could bring home to your own pet if they would right. you know be receptive to it. So they do. They do. Um, They'll train a border collie for you to have as a pet, and they can. Those dogs are so smart; uh -huh. they can right. do just about anything. But that's an expensive way to get a pet. But yes, that can sure. be a super obedient and smart dog. I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah.